Shalom. Last thought about giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Citations to the whole fillet. This pushing is truth across the four corners of the earth and all faith, truth, and sincerity. All right, uh, this is the brother. I'm on the bot. Um, um, come back with another sit. Um, just going to. Uh, just about, you know, <clears throat> you know how these, uh, you know, these proud people out here, you know, these proud Americans, um, you, know, you know, these proud people that's in this world don't have nothing, you know, uh, no, no, uh, no humility about themselves, you know, and, you know, and that think that they got it all figured out and can't tell them nothing and, Just got proud looks, you know, and a proud mindset, you know. They got, you know, especially so-called Negro, Latino, Native Israelites. Uh, the people of the Lord, you know, they got the mindset of Esau, that proud mindset, you know. <laughs> you know, be all you could be, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know. You know, you know, the fruit of brave and the proud, something like that, how that go. <laughs> You know, the you know, the army thing, you know, they had a commercial. Um no you know, Esau, you know, so called I mean red man Edomites, they you know, they proud, man. You know. You know they proud and a lawyer about should say, you know. He doesn't like pride, you know. And that's why and that's why the lawyer about should say is gonna bring great judgments. He's gonna bring great. He's gonna bring great wrath and judgments upon this wicked kingdom of the so-called I mean, red man's kingdom. You know, and upon two-thirds so-called Negro, Latino, and Israelites that are proud as well. That you know, had a mindset of so-called white man, Esau Edomite. You know, so we in those times right now. We in the beginning of the times of Jacob's trouble, the time of great, the great troubles. You know, and. <laughs> The great sorrows, you know, I mean, those times right now, so, you know, <laughs> that's what the Lord, y'all, about some shots, you know, is bringing right now. It's just the beginning, but, you know, you know it's going to be made known, you know, there's a higher power, there's a higher power at work, you know, and that you're going to know that the men of the Lord from the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone had the truth. You know, the men that, you know, you call, that you, you know, call crazy or whatever, on the highways and byways, you know, constantly week, constantly week in, week out, prophesying downfall, of America, Babylon, the Great, and telling you so-called Negro, Latino, so-called Negro, Latino, Latino natives, Israelites, that you know, if you know, you know, if you don't get right, the Lord Yahweh is gonna bring judgment upon you, you know, which is happening right now. You know, the Lord really is bringing those judgments, you know, but it's only gonna get worse and worse and worse, and you know, they ain't gonna get no better. You know, for those that ain't right, for those that are proud, you know. But I'm getting to it, second Ezra 8 and 50. But many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter times shall dwell in the, in the world because they have walked it in great pride. So, so many great miseries. So, we know those times right now, you know. These people ain't going to be in miseries, you know. With, you know, prices of, you know, the inflation, you know, prices of food, so forth, gas, um, you know. Uh, restaurants, you know, they feeling it, you know, if they, they, they can't stock up, you know, inventory or whatever, you know, they, you know, products, whatever they missing, it's hurting restaurants, you have some, you'll have certain restaurants closed down, business closed down, because they don't have, uh, you know, the products or whatever, you know, to keep open with whatever, you know, to keep business going, and, you know, we have these people out here just, you know, bugging out, losing their mind because of the things that the Lord Yahweh is trying to, you know, is, is going to bring to America by going to great, you know, <laughs> they ain't going to know how to uh, uh, control themselves, man. You know, you know, this this ain't this just like a, like I said, this just the beginning of the great sorrows and pains and tribulations and troubles, you know, so. Cause you know you got people out here just, you know, 
right now, right now, you got people out here, you know, losing their mind right now. And I say, this ain't even nothing, you know. It's going to get worse and worse, you know. You got people out here, you know, killing each other, and, you know, whatever it may be, you know, for just something small or whatever. But how much more when that, there's no food in the grocery stores, you know. Your, your restaurant's closing down. Your favorite restaurant's closing down, you know. You can't feed your children, you know. No, you know, can't put no gas in your car, you know, so, you know, that's what's coming, man, you know, that's what we here now, <laughs> forget that, forget that, it's coming, but it's here, but I say it's gonna get worse and worse, so, we here, man, so, you know, the Lord's bringing those, those, those great miseries and troubles upon these proud, wicked, devil, so-called white people, eat them ice, but, you know, upon two-thirds, so-called Negro or Latin, Latino Native Israelites, but um, <clears throat> Second Ezra fifteen eight for because of their pride, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. So, because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, man, and that's what's coming, and that's what's happening now, you know, and the house is gonna be destroyed, men shall be afraid, you know. You know, you go have these people out here just, I say, wilding out, man, <laughs> because of their pride. You know, Lord, I was to bring bringing those plagues and, you know, bringing bringing distress upon man. You know, like I say, with this inflation and so forth, stressing out. You know, you know, trying to figure out when they go, when, when how they gonna get their next meal. You know, you know where they gonna stay at, or you know if they ain't got a place to stay, or you know. Or they, you know, or stressing about where they gonna stay or whatever it may be, cause you know that's what's happening, you know, right now, you know, and going forward, you know, it ain't gonna get no better, you know. And like I said, the only ones that gonna be, you know, gonna be uh preserved and taken, you know, you know, be uh taken care of and be be okay is the men of the Lord, you know, the elect that the so-called Negro. Latino native, the the elect of the so-called Negro, Latino Native American American Indian Israelites, you know, the uh, you know the tribes, you know, but you know the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, not all Israel is not gonna be, not is not gonna be protected, you know, in these times, man, it's not gonna have it, <clears throat> it's not gonna have that mercy and deliverance from the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai in these times, you know, to to be to be, to be preserved from the Said perils and you know and and from the wrath and and the, and the judgments that the Lord the Lord is bringing to America by the grant to these devils, you know. You know so. So you know these people are gonna be out here just losing their mind. I say you're gonna have family members that you know friends you know. You gonna hear about you know, dying you know. Some you know and, and judgments again you know. Dying over horrific judgments from the from the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai, you know. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully I'll probably watch this number, man. You know. So, from there I go to um. Second Ezra fifteen nine. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. So, like I said, you know. You know, once the you know, stores start running out of foods and goods and so forth, you know, once it start really getting really, really bad out here, you know, you, you know, these people ain't going to have no pity upon you. You know, they'll come knocking on your door, kicking your door in, whatever, you know, with the gun and taking your foods and, you know, you know, you know whatever you got, you know, you know, so they can eat, you know, feed their kids, you know, so... That's 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 what's, what that, that's that's the times we in right now and going forward, you know. Like I said this is just the beginning of it. But it's gonna get, you know, it's not gonna get. Like I said, it's not gonna get better. It's gonna get intensified. <clears throat> you know, it's gonna. You know, the play is not gonna slow down. Like I said you got the the uh, got that monkey going around. You know, and you got you know, did they talking about it's another? Virus or something, you know, some disease still, you know, to watch for, you know, and, you know, and so forth, you know, you still got Jake out here still wearing masks, you know, you know, paranoid, man, <laughs> you got Jake, the Jake, uh, Jake is a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Israelites, 
you know, Israel. So you got Israelites out here just still wearing a mask and, you know, <laughs> they, they still afraid of when every time on the news, like everything you, you hear on the news now is nothing but bad news. It's nothing good, you know. You know, you hear about people dying, getting killed, getting shot, or uh, the, the, imp, the monkey going around, another virus, uh, the C19, another C19 strand or something, and people dying, you know, um, <laughs> a situation going on, you know, uh, you know, wars, you know, the wars and rumors of wars, you know, talks of war, you know, and people just, you know, out here just paranoid, concerned, just, <laughs> you know, but the, like I said, it's Lloyd Alvin Sharp bringing, bringing the distress upon these people out here, man, you know, for their pride, you know, for all the wickedness they doing, you know, upon this earth. Upon this world, you know, in, in this world, those other so called white man, Esau, Esau, you know, his world, the ones that's in rulership, you know. So, when you know it's time, man, going forward, man, like I said, it's not gonna get no better. But, um, so from there, I'm gonna end off of this, Proverbs 16 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though, though hand join the hand, he shall not be unpunished. So, everyone that's proud in heart, heart which the word heart goes to the Hebrew word lob, lob which means your mind, is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh So the Lord Yahweh he hates pride, a pride, um, a, a pride mind, you know. You know, somebody, you know, got a pride mindset, you know. As what, and that's what, what the so-called might eat, so you might push, you know. You know, that, that pride mindset, you know. And no, no fear of the Lord, you know. You know. No, 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 not acknowledging the Lord, you know, and not fearing the Lord, y'all, Bashan Shah, you know, so, you know, so everyone, everyone that, you know, you know, everyone that, you know, two thirds of the so called Negro, Latino, Native, Native American, Native American, Indian, Israelites, that, you know, that's, that's go along to get along with the so called white man, Red Man, Edomites, devils, you know, you, you know, you're not gonna go unpunished. You know, you believe and trust in the so-called white man, red man, eating my devil. You know, Lord Yahweh is gonna, you know, you know, bring judgment with, you know, um, with, uh, with you, with, uh, with, with, with you in the devil. You know, you know, with you in the devil. Excuse me. You know, so, so, <laughs> hey, that's what's that's what's happening right now and going forward, man. You know, those that you know, they believe in this truth. Or Lord Yah Washa Shah then accept this truth, then believe or you know, rebelled against this truth and not Lord Yah Washa Shah, you know, it's gonna face great judgment from Lord Yah Washa Shah in these times right now and going forward, man. Hopefully I'm part of the righteous number, you know, and hopefully I'll find words to escape the wrath and judgments of Lord Yah Washa Shah, you know, and, and to be part of the righteous number to you know be and have mercy and deliverance. And have mercy and deliverance, my Lord, I've watched them shine these times going forward. So with that, I don't want to make this too long. I just want to go into that. So again, I like about praise on glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kagadash, uh, to the positive elders, to the sisters and brothers, to the few Akwaf sisters that do listen and keep the faith. And Yahweh, keep fighting with that. Say Shalom.